Welcome back everyone. Thanks everybody for watching that last video. The views are quite a ways up. I like it. I like seeing that. That's pretty nice. So thanks everybody that, that went over and checked that video out and watched Jason and I working up that tree and and uh, the falling of it and you know everything. This video, this part of the this part of that day in the video is uh, it's just Jason and I just splitting wood. I'm swinging a four pound Craftsman high test on a Whiskey River 30C, and Jason is swinging the four four and a half pound plum rockaway that Johnny Arnett sent that I put on a Tom Joyner handle. One of the first handles that Tom sent me to uh, to work on and do myself to haft myself. It's one of the laminated ones. You'll hear us talking about it. I know my back's to the camera, but Jason and I were we were in conversation. You know, we're just we're just talking about a whole bunch of we're just talking about stuff about life and about axes and and saws and things like that. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, stay tuned. For more to come i've got more videos that are that are backlogged and like i said in the previous video i put that out because it was that day and it, and i know it kind of skips out of how i normally do my videos but i wanted to get i wanted to get i want to get some uh support out there for jason jason is uh he's porting port he ports chainsaws and uh sorry i didn't get Sorry, Jason, I didn't get a, a chance to uh, to video more of you running the 625. My camera situation was a little bit goofy. My phone was getting overstocked, and I was running out of time on my phone, and I forgot to turn the GoPro on to to get you cutting the rest of that log on the last pieces that we need to needed to fill the load. So, anyway... I hope you enjoy the video. Love y'all. And we'll see you on the next one. All right? I won't do another interjection in this video. We'll just let it play out. All right? So enjoy the video. Like I said, stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, on the website, on, a, on a, go to Tazland. If you're into this kind of stuff, go check it out. Old Soul is up and running. It's pretty nice. This is, uh, this is the short. This is the no sleeve shirt. See, it's a no sleeve shirt. That it's that breathable material. It's better for summer, but it's awesome. T-shirts are up, sweatshirts, stickers, everything. It's all there. Old soul. Keep rocking, everybody. Roll on, Tasmaniacs. I love you. That's a pretty good size stump. Pretty good size stump. Let's look at it. While we're here, yeah. Had to reach around and get that far side, just a tiny bit. I was still in the wood, but not through the bark, right? It's pretty good. Didn't hold on long. That's a good size stump. That's a, you're more than welcome to swing it, man. That's a, uh, Tom laminated that handle. Can you tell the difference in it? Where the where the lamination is? Oh yeah, right there. Right? And you can kind of see it there. Where the grain 
uh -huh. where the grain is different here. But blends nice, don't it? Yeah, it does. It's crazy. Wow. You Tom, know, Tom does amazing work, buddy. I, that's all I could find for the longest time. Yeah. And then finally I seen him comment on one of your live feeds. And I was able to, you know, type in his exact name and find it. Yeah. And then I see that he doesn't really do much content. It's kind of sad, really. But he's, you know, he's just that way. He's talented, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. And he, he does it all. Uh, you know, he lives in Arizona. I don't know where he gets his hickory from. And his brother goes around and finds all these accents for him at yard sales and flea markets and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's nuts, man. He's he's got some serious skill. Good. I'm not sure. He's. It looks like Santa Claus in the picture I saw. Yep, he does. That big old beard. Yeah. Yeah, old Tom Joyner. branches yeah i was gonna bring my favorite axe this morning that's the only thing i didn't grab that i planned on grabbing i think that's because i was grabbing everything out of my truck and the axe was at the wood pile yeah and so i didn't think about it until it got loon lake Right here is one of the reasons I love cameras. No limbs. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's usually the way the uh, clean up the the grand fur up in the wood hole. It don't have nowhere near yeah, this, these limbs. Yeah, because they're so close together. Yeah, and it don't. They just don't have. Even the ones that have red needles on them don't have nowhere near the amount of limbs that these do. And they all bust off when they hit the ground up there. Yeah, yeah. Wonder what causes it. Johnny says that moisture gets in them. Moisture gets in it, and then it just like it's just like stained. And I'm like, I never seen that before. And I never paid attention. I guess. I know. At my property, most of what I got is ponderosa and lodgepole. Yeah. And that lodgepole, it gets killed by the beetles really easy. Yep. And it turns blue. Yeah. Yeah. P uh, Ponderosa will do the same thing. It's blue stain. Used to be a big, huge market for it. Blue stain this, blue stain that, naughty pine. And it, it started to come back when all that, with the fire, when they used to, when they started going in and getting the wood off of a burn. Because a lot of it, by the time they would get to it, it, it had already blued. That's why lodge. That's why lodgepole and ponderosa can't sit in the landing for a long time. I know a lot of the lumber I mill up will turn blue if it sits very long. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful stuff. She's got a little spill again, huh? Yeah. That's about my max. I can actually, I can run a little bit longer than that, but I, I gotta stack it to where it's not very, it doesn't burn very efficiently. Yeah. In the, in the, in the stove, so. 
13 and a half is about perfect. Yeah, I cut mine well with that Blaze Princess. I usually cut my wood about 14. Anywhere from 12 to 14. Goes in there nice. Because I don't put it in lengthwise. Like when you open the door, I don't put it in this way. I put it in this way. Same here. So you can, you know, it burns, it just burns so much better. If you turn it sideways, it's all falling out towards the door and everything. Yeah. I don't even deal with it. If I turn it sideways, I can I can run 16s. Yeah, right. But it just doesn't burn right. Right, you know, and you can't get it as full. No. Because you can't get it, once you get up to, you know, so high on the door. Exactly. You, you can't, can't get, get it twisted in. and put it in there without you burning your damn hands every time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this head. I had one of these. I had one of these and my brother my brother showed up right after I'd I'd hafted it. And, oh no. And he's like, I need an axe. I need an axe. And I was like, oh well take this one. <coughs> it hasn't come back. Oh so no. He must really like it. <laughs> <laughs> that he really broke it. Yeah, no, I don't think he did. Hi everyone. The, uh, it's the next day. It's the day after the Jason and I went and cut this load of wood. So uh, I'm on my way now to to deliver it. And uh, instead of going down the highway, the, the short way, I, I took the long way. I took some back roads and just uh, listening to some good old tunes. <laughs> just having a great day. I want to thank Jason a lot. Thank you, Jason, for uh, for all your help, buddy, and for coming up and hanging out for the day. It was great. It's it's always great to uh, it's always great to meet new people and and uh, you know and hang out and put put faces to names and and, and names to faces and things. You know, it, it was a really really great day. So I appreciate it, buddy, a lot. I hope you had fun as well. Yeah, buddy. Great time, great time. So yeah, I'm on my way to deliver that load of wood for that. For that elderly lady and I, I just I just want to throw it out there I just want to make a suggestion if you're if you're a firewood person and you're in the firewood business I'm not in the firewood business I'm not but I have I have extra firewood and we were able to get up to the mountains and, and get this load of wood for for this elderly lady that, that got a whole bunch of really soaking wet firewood from her firewood person so that's why my suggestion is, is this. If you're cutting firewood for people, please take them firewood that they can burn. If, you, if all you have is green wood, try to find one of your friends or try to find some that's dry for people. I, I'm, I don't even, I don't even under, I, I really don't even understand it. Because not everybody, not everybody can, can get out there and get firewood. And especially, you know your customers, right? David from Mountain Man from, from David Kelsey's channel that guy knows what's up right he, he knows he knows what's up he knows his customers he's not taking people green wood he's taking people when people buy firewood in my opinion unless they state it differently to you if they're buying firewood they, they're buying firewood that you can burn right now Right? So please do your do your customers due diligence and, and 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 get them firewood that they can burn. No matter how old they are. Like I said, unless they state different, if, if you know that they have a system and they like to be a, a season ahead or two seasons ahead or whatever, and you can take them a, a, some wood that they're that's gonna sit in season for another year or two. Before they put it in their woodshed, great. But if if their if their woods if their woodshed's empty when you get there, please fill it with dry wood. I can't stress it enough. It, it's it, it, I don't know. It just disgusts me, actually, <laughs> to just put it out there. It disgusts me. So anyway, that's that's why we went and cut this load of wood. The snow is pretty deep. We had a chain up, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get back and get any more. Um, 
this this season we got snow coming and uh yeah yeah so anyway i just i i also want to say thank you everyone for watching and, and for hanging out with us um this video is is like right now the videos to come will be from the past i'll go back to my my backlog of, of, of wood but i wanted to get this out there to uh to to give a shout out to Jason Tung. Tung Power Saw, Jason Tung Power Saws, YouTube channel. Go check him out. He's he's working on saws, he's building, he's porting saws. He's local to me. So we got some we got some things in the work. So so go check out Jason's channel, please. Give him some support. I, I truly appreciate it. So uh yeah. Anyway, I love you all. Take care and be safe. Tasman is a road. Oh, there's a bald eagle right here on the edge of the road. On a roadkill, Jason. Yeah, buddy. All right, stay tuned.